FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, provided more than 120,000 trailers to victims of Hurricanes Rita and Katrina in 2005, and thousands of people are still living in those trailers. Mr. Paulison, you said... But documents released on Capitol Hill Thursday show that FEMA's lawyers discouraged the agency from pursuing reports that many of those trailers had dangerous levels of formaldehyde. That revelation drew an angry response from lawmakers. Senior FEMA officials in Washington didn't want to know what they already knew. Formaldehyde is a well-known preservative and embalming fluid. It is sometimes found in materials used to make mobile homes. The chemical can cause respiratory problems and high doses. It's also been linked to cancer. Cheryl Diavi says formaldehyde and other chemicals in her trailer has made her breathing problems a whole lot worse. Continually had to have medications for antibiotics, cough congestions. They just have not been able to seem to clear this, and I continue to suffer with an inability to breathe. According to the committee, when complaints of possible formaldehyde poisoning surfaced in 2006, FEMA tested one occupied trailer and announced there was no ongoing risk. But documents show the levels of formaldehyde found were higher than those considered safe by several government agencies, both health and environment. At Thursday's hearing, David Paulison, the agency's chief, apologized to trailer occupants. We recognize now that we have an issue. We are dealing with it in the best manner we can. Paulison says the agency received just over 200 complaints of strange odors, including formaldehyde in trailers. And the agency replaced nearly 60 trailers because of those formaldehyde concerns. But several lawmakers said FEMA should have seen the 200 complaints as part of a much wider problem. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.